Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learnhyphenvision.com. Today in this lecture, I'm going to talk about another error that you will be getting the moment you start running your Selenium test. Okay, so it's not about the Selenium test. So suppose if you're running any other test as well. Okay, so let's say you have written some JUnit test or test engine test. So you will sometimes you will end up getting this compilation error. Okay, and if you see the error message carefully, it will show you that source option five is no longer supported. Use seven or later. So if you're getting this issue, then watch this video till then because I'm going to provide you a solution how you can fix this issue. Okay. So uh, just to give you a small uh, introduction about the project which I have, it's a very simple project. Okay. I don't have any test. I just created a sample package and I have just one demo test. This demo test is just starting a Chrome browser, opening one application, google.com and finally closing the browser. And if I show you my uh, test engine XML, so this XML is basically running this demo test. Now, if I open the pom.xml file, we are using one of the plugin called Maven Surefire plugin. Okay. So in case if you're not sure what exactly this Maven Surefire plugin is, so just to give you a small um, introduction about this Surefire plugin, that whenever you have to run certain test in the test phase, you can use this plugin called Maven Surefire plugin. So what exactly I've done, I have added one plugin and uh, in this plugin we have customized like we are providing one configuration that whenever i will run maven test it should run this test engine.xml file which will run basically this test now this is a sample xml and sample pom.xml file but the idea will remain same for a complete framework as well so your pom.xml can run multiple xml files or it can run xml based on what parameter you pass right so as of now, only one XML, this XML is running this test. Okay, so let me show you how you can fix it. So in order to fix it, uh, just open any browser and search for one plugin called Maven Compiler Plugin. Okay, and just open the first link that you get. This is the official page, which is Apache Maven Compiler Plugin. Open this in a new tab or in the same tab. And now you can see we can start using this in different ways so they have given a usage and multiple example so now if uh, if you open the first option here you can give a specific path to the java compiler okay so as you can see in the configuration we have to provide the executable path and you can pass the specific version but i would recommend you to go with the second option which says compile using source and target java c location the moment you click on this now it will show you two different options how you can fix this issue so one option is you can use this property or you can just use this plugin and provide the source and the target i will show you both so that you will have a clear understanding so the first one is using properties you can copy these properties okay and go back to your poem.xml file and make sure it is under project do not use this within dependencies tag or do not use this within build tag just come outside all, all of this tag just after this versions you can just mention the properties and you can use Control shift f if you want to format it so what exactly it is saying that we are using source as 1.8 and target as 1.8 so if you remember that error was saying that use 7 or above we are using 1.8 so this time when you run you will not get any issue so let me show you the moment you right click run as maven test it will pick one test engine.xml that we have specified here and it will run your test as i mentioned do not worry about the complexity of the test cases the the concept will remain same it's going to run your whatever test you mentioned as of now we have one test you can have multiple tests you can have multiple suite here it's totally up to you how you have created your xml files so now you can see it's running and it's picking our test and our test as i mentioned it's going to open a browser run one uh, google.com and it will close the browser so you can see it started and yeah it will run the test and it will close yeah so if you just see the output yeah test one failure zero error zero skip zero the second option which i mentioned uh, if you don't want to use this property so you can see or you can configure the plugin directly in this case you have to be a little careful so i'm going to use this plugin basically so let me maximize this so we have to copy this plugin okay 
so it is coming under plugins which we already have so i'm going to copy this plugin from here to here and let me uh, remove this properties now come back so uh, i'm assuming you are familiar with this build tag so within the build tag we already have something called plugins we already have one plugin maven surefire plugin so just after this plugin we will add this plugin and again i will format this this is optional but yeah it's good if you format this xml so that you can traverse easily now if you try to read this plugin it says we are using maven compiler plugin this is the version 3.10.1 and we are using source as 1.8 and target is 1.8 okay now if i simply save this file go back and run see guys again you did you notice that after saving my project i'm getting this cross symbol so don't worry about this sometimes you will get this you know error but uh, the moment you update your project right click on a project go to maven and update project this error will go so the moment you save this yeah you can see now we don't have any error now you can continue right click run as maven test so let's open the console and see the output and here we go so first option we added property second we added maven compiler plugin directly and our test is running as usual so let's wait Yeah, it's started and done. So it's quite easy. Uh, many times I have seen people are getting confused how to fix this because the code is running fine, their XML is running fine, everything is fine. But the moment they start running pom.xml, they were getting this issue. So I thought I will quickly record this video. I hope this video was helpful. And if you think this video is adding any value to you, then do uh, share with your friends, colleague who are working with test automation and uh, do support this channel by subscribing and i will see you in the next video yeah have a nice day bye bye